what's going on guys, Ebebs here, Mr. Remote Life. Uh, got a good one for you today. I'm going to be upgrading this bad boy here, this uh, 2010 iMac 27 inch i7. Uh, I need some more horsepower. I'm gonna be moving my, uh, my editing system up to Final Cut X. So I need a little more performance out of this thing. So um, I'm just gonna be upgrading to a solid state drive and basically Another terabyte solid state drive, but um, just to let you know this is this will void your warranty if you still have some under the warranty. But this thing's a 2010, so it's been out of warranty for a while. So uh, you're gonna get to see it tear down and uh, have some fun with it. Make sure if you ever try to do this, I don't recommend it if you don't know what you're doing. If you're not comfortable around electronics, do not wear any jewelry. I actually, when rebuilding this bad boy here. Uh, blew the power supply and almost electrocuted myself because I forgot I had on a bracelet and actually rubbed up against the power supply on it, even though it was unplugged. But uh, lesson learned: be mindful of what you're, what you're sticking your hand into. <laughs> anyway, okay, so here are the parts needed if you're going to be performing this type of upgrade on an iMac, uh, especially the 2009-2010 model. Uh, you want to have a good anti-static strap handy this is a, this is a disposable one uh, that I had laying around um, a good pair of suction cups to take your screen off a good multi torx screwdriver uh, tool that has multiple sizes of course your solid state drive adapter plate to make it a full size to fit in a full size three and a half inch hard drive space and the most important thing you will need is a thermal sensor for your hard for your hard drive. Um, what happens if you do not install with a thermal sensor? You will have uh, constant fan issues. So basically, the fan will run at 100%, and you will no longer have a quiet iMac, which basically defeats the purpose of having an iMac because these things are fairly quiet. Um, so that's your tools needed, and just knowledge know how to do it. Be mindful of this ribbon cable. As you can see. So you have four connection points. This is your visual display connection point. This is your thermal sensor, power supply. And don't be so fast to pick up the monitor because this is your ribbon cable that controls the vertical and horizontal lines and the LCD screen. So, take this out, set it to the side. All right, so most people like working on this thing with it sitting right side up like a, like a normal way, but I actually prefer to be able to see what I'm doing instead of it being in front of me. Uh, it's your preference. And also, to me, there's a greater liability of the, once you take the screen out, screws off of the screen it'll basically tip forward and it could actually fall out and you end up having to place the LCD screen so I, I tend to just lay mine down uh, whenever I'm working on it but remember this is your main connection point for that um, ribbon cable that's at the top of the LCD screen so once you're lifting it up you gotta go really slow make sure you pull that out first and then you have your another connection point here your thermal sensor here and your power supply here. And this is basically your video inverter board. So if that goes bad, they tend to go bad sometimes. You can get a replacement for that. This is your power supply, so you wanna kinda steer away from that as much as possible. But here's the baby that you need to replace. It is the hard drive. And this is the fan sensor for the hard drive. Gently pull that out. So 
lot easier to reverse the order going back in. So this actually just lifts out at the takes. I can take out the tip screws and then you your hard drive. You see the Seagate, 1,000 gigabytes, which is one terabyte. Apple drive, and then you just need to take the mounting points off. And that does not use a T10 like the others. Actually, uses a T8. Mounting points on the adapter. And slide it back in place. So basically, what this does is this is there's your new thermal sensor. And this actually plugs up where this one was. So unwrap this. Plugs up right here. It only fits one way. So it's grooves on one end. Side up, sensor in place. There you have it. Workstation complete. So, next thing you do is download Final Cut and start editing some more videos. <laughs>